This is a, you know, this is a real basic beginner slide rule. Yeah. It's made by Keffel and Esser. They're probably the the first actual uh, slide rule manufacturers, and started making them well before the turn of the last century. Yep. Um, this one has four basic scales on it. Your C and D scales are your basic scales for multiplying and dividing. Um, you'll notice that they're graduated logarithmically. See how the sure yeah. What this thing is is a device for adding logarithms. So if you if you want to multiply 15 by 23, yep. you look up the logarithm of 15 and the logarithm of 23, add them together, and then look up the result in the logarithm table, and it tells you what the answer is. So what this is, this is graduated in, in actual numbers instead of logarithms, but it's the graduations are spaced logarithmically. So what this is is a gadget for adding logarithms so you don't have to waste time looking ta looking it up in the logarithm table. All right. So if you want to multiply 3 times 2, you can set the cursor on 2. Yep. The little thing with the crosshair is called the cursor. That's changed in modern computers. The cursor is the guy sitting in front of the screen. <laughs> you slide the index, the 1, over to the 2, and then if you want to multiply... 2 times 3, you slide the cursor over to 3 on the upper scale, right. and there's your answer, 6. And the distance from here to here is the log, represents the logarithm of 2. The distance from here to here represents the logarithm of 3, but it's actually calibrated in whole numbers, and that's it. Division works the same way. If you want to divide... Um, six by three, for example, mm -hmm. and you you start with the six here, put the three over it, slide down to the index, and there's your answer. Six divided by three is two. The up, upper two scales on these are essentially the same scale, but they're half as long as the two bottom scales. Mm -hmm. So, doubling the logarithm is the same as squaring the number. So if you set your cursor on the bottom scale on 2, the square of 2 is 4. And then over here, this, at this point, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. So the square of 4 is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 16. Did you ever own a calculator? <laughs> yeah, actually I have. Yeah, okay. Uh, I just want to... Because you still use this. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, this is this is, this is is actually... Is, it's called a beginner slide rule, and it mm -hmm. has uh, some basic stuff on the back, different settings, uh, different uh, equivalents, and so on. And uh, this also has a couple of trig scales on the back of the slider for doing uh, uh, trigonometric functions in degrees and radians. Right. They don't teach this stuff to kids anymore. No. Do they? No. Should they? Yes. Why? Um, you know, this thing is really wonderful. You don't need a battery. All you need is enough light to be able to see it. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to know a little mathematics. Um, they start the kids out today, hand them a calculator as soon as they can figure out how to push the buttons. And in my world, if you can't do it on a piece of paper with a pencil, yeah. you ought not to be doing it with a machine because you're not going to know if the machine is lying to you. Cool. And, uh, cool. you know, so I, I have a problem with that. And yeah. I think that... Uh, I think that uh, any kid that graduates grade school, graduates, what is wrong with that? <laughs> yeah. Don't get me started. No. <laughs> you know, any any kid that finishes grade school should know how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, you know, do squares, and take square roots. Mm -hmm. um, and they should be able to do it with a pencil and paper. And... And they should know how to do estimating. Mm -hmm. So 
given a multiplication problem, they can say, okay, well, that's about 10, and that's about 18, so the answer is going to be somewhere around 180. They would counter and they would say, you know, I'll just fire up the computer and do yeah. your numbers. And yeah, and how long did this take me to do? I mean, by, the time, the, by the time they've got... the square of four, yeah. took about 45 seconds. Yeah, right? which by that time they've got the computer turned on and they're waiting for the thing. <laughs> you only have this turned machine, on once. <laughs> this machine, which, you know, runs at the speed of light, right? And we're sitting yeah. here waiting for it to boot up. Yeah.